we just have to end up making sure that it's about an inch, two inches past the little block right there. Ready? Okay, here we go. This is what we, uh, we take all of our test shots in this tank. And uh, the idea is to get a pristine test fire from your weapon. Hopefully, uh, if you have a fire cartridge case, or in this case, a fire bullet that you can recover from a, we recovered from a crime scene, if we get a weapon, we can bring the weapon in here, test fire it, and we'll have some pristine samples that we can use to compare against the, the evidence. What we need is right down here. All the lands and grooves are nice and intact. It's the integrated ballistic identification system. Um, this is a system that's used within the states and other countries around the world. Um, it is a system designed for to capture digital images using a laser beam to scan all the individual characteristics that we use for identification into a backup database, which can be retrieved at a later stage to be compared to physical evidence captured from or being retrieved from a crime scene. The system will bring up images of already scanned in exhibits. This is images from previously scanned exhibits picked up from different crime scenes or being scanned in from submitted firearms and these are test fires. So with the correlation running I can see what the system tells me could be positive with the current correlation. So if you have a positive hit on a breach face with individual markings, you can fuse the two images. And this is basically the kind of image you'll see on the comparison microscope with a dividing line. So you can you can either rotate the image so you can set up a hit or a identification as we would like to refer to. But you still need to have the physical examination being done on the comparison microscope because you can twist, you can, you can do so many things with the submitted test mm -hmm. and exhibit, and you can play with lights. All fired bullets have markings called striations. They're left behind by the barrel of a firearm, and they're microscopic. You use the microscope. This has two lenses and I can compare the two objects next to each other and you can match the striations which are these small markings the parallel lines it can be done on any bullet that's fired through a rifled barrel